What's up, Ruhitas? Reverend Dave here. We're going to do a fun subject today. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the famous practice of sex magic. What is it? How do you do it? Things like that. Uh, first of all, forgive me, my allergies are nuts today. Today, there's fires going on in the West Coast and all the smoke's coming in the valley of vegas and it's really hazy and smoky outside and it's, i can feel it and it's making my eyes ah, i want to scratch them out so anyways so yeah so we're gonna be talking about sex, sex magic because people ask me about it i've gotten questions about it and yeah do i perform it this and that of course i do um but sex magic is basically any type of sexual activity uh, used for any magical, uh, ritualistic, religious, or spiritual purposes. And, and it's been around forever in different forms. But, and it can be done either by yourself solo but preferably with a partner male or female uh either through masturbation or with the partner or full-blown orgy the guidelines and blueprints are basically the same with your intention and energy focused on that now let me say this sex magic isn't just about doing the deed it's just for the sake of just having sex it's not about just fucking for put it bluntly it's a very it's an actual and very powerful practice when done right you know and and, tra and it's a transference of energy and I've talked about this in other videos before uh, but it's basically done by using your sexual arousal and orgasm uh, through visualization uh, for a desired result. Magic. And it's done with a mindful intention through intercourse, orgasm, whatever, you raise your energy, which is basically directed towards a specific purpose. Now, there's different ways, obviously, uh, to perform sex magic. And it can be done like I said, with a partner uh, or solo, but it can be more of like a ritualistic experience. You can make it a ritual, you know, by, you know how we cast a circle before we do some spells or whatever. Same thing, you can circle your bed, the bed chamber, whatever you want to call it, with, say if you're doing it for love, you can, with rose petals, rosebuds, whatever, make a circle of that, or just green candles around for if you're doing for prosperity, whatever, you can do that. Now, for some people, you know, say like somebody, a single person, single parent with kids, trust me, I know that feeling where you don't get a moment of, of quietness or, or whatever, alone time, to maybe perform this. Totally acceptable. There's also a mindful mas masturbation where even if you're sitting on the toilet, who cares, whatever, but just finding a spot, a quiet spot, and meditating, visualizing what it is you're trying to manifest. But while you're you're visualizing this you're thinking about 
what turns you on? Maybe there's somebody that you really, really like or whatever, and you think about that. And it's almost, and I hate to say it like this, but it's almost kind of like looking at porn. You know, where you're, you're looking at something and it's getting you turned on. Well, your brain does the work for you and it releases all these chemicals. So it's doing the work for you. So in your mind, in your thought process, once you get to the point of bliss and you're ready, just shout out your intention. Whatever it is, just shout it out. Release that energy. That's one way to do it. Now... Another way to perform sex magic, if you're a solo practitioner, uh, is by, of course, masturbation, but self is ejaculation. Now, one way, and I, I do this method occasionally, and it's almost kind of no different as in doing, say, blood magic, where you take a piece of paper and you write your intention down on it, visualizing, meditating on that, okay, while you're masturbating, while you're self-love, self-pleasure, whatever, and then imagining you're at the point of orgasm, releasing that, envisioning it as it's your intention shooting out to the universe. Now, once you're spent, you take that, whatever you want to call it, your ejaculate, your semen, your cum, jizz, goo, whatever you want to call it. Take it, rub it all over your intention, all over your paper. Same thing like the, it's a blood magic spell or whatever prick your finger, whatever, drop the blood of it. Basically, you're signifying sealing the deal with your DNA. And so once you, like I said, it's, it's better to perform well, I think maybe the best bet. Let me, let me, I want to say the right thing. Performing sex magic with a partner, especially when they're on, if it's a female and they're on their, during their menstrual cycle, their blood, your semen can create a powerful concoction for sex magic. So there's also that. Now, remember, it's not just about sex because there's a real intention behind this. And uh, one of the questions that I've gotten and I've heard and, and whatever is, are orgasms mandatory for this? I say yes and no because, as I just said, your ejaculate is used for, to seal the deal or whatever. But also know it can be self-denial, self-discipline by not having an orgasm. You can do it that way. Uh, I, I understand for some people it's hard to climax. I get it. I understand that. But remember, this is your practice. You do what feels right to you. I'm just sharing you what basically this is because a lot of people think sex magic, ooh, they get all excited. Ooh, they get to get it on. No. That's the fun part, yes. But, like I said, no matter how you do it, it all has the same purpose, the same blueprint. It's for magical purposes so whatever way you choose to practice sex magic is totally on you and you know it, it's doesn't matter if it's 
for prosperity, for love, for healing, or just a devotion to a deity, whatever it is, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But let me say this. Like I said, I had a couple disclaimers. Remember, because it's not just about sex. It's a, it's a, it's got a purpose behind it. So a couple disclaimers. Number one, always, 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 always have consent from your partner or client or whatever, whoever you plan on practicing with. Have consent, number one. <laughs> and once again, I don't recommend if you plan on doing this to manipulate somebody else's will because that could backfire. And an added note to that, don't do this. Don't practice sex magic just because you like somebody and you want to get in their pants and you give them some line of bullshit, you know, and, and whatever. That's not good either. The wrong energy you're projecting. And that could backfire. And once again, don't worry about it achieving climax your your energy and your intention is already there it's just releasing it this is just a I just want to do a real quick video on this because I know it's a it can this subject can go on forever you know and, and talking about different cultures and tantric stuff and whatever, but I just, I don't want to get into all of that. I just want to talk about what is sex magic? How do you do it? So basically that's it in a nutshell. If you have a different opinion on it, or if you want to share how you do it, whatever, that's awesome. Put it down in the comments. If you like it, thumbs up, subscribe, whatever. But thank you for watching again, you guys. I got more vids coming up this week, so be patient. They're coming. Love you guys. Do no harm, take no shit. Bye.